your storm station forecast with Chief Meteorologist Josh Eaches. Well, HOT hot, that's the only way to say it. That is the weather headline for the week ahead. We're going to have most of our afternoons reaching the upper 90s. And while it is somewhat unusual on the central Gulf Coast, not out of the question that we hit that century mark, there will likely be several days where alerts are issued due to the heat index. That's when we combine the air temperature and the humidity. A heat advisory issued when the heat index or feels like temperature will be at 108 or more. The excessive heat warning, which is a little bit more substantial, more significant, more caution is needed. That's when the feels like temperature could be at 113 or greater. Precipitation, real tough to come by. 10 or 20 percent coverage today. Tomorrow, maybe Sunday, but really trailing off into next week. Let's talk about those 100s real quick. Since we did mention it, while we don't explicitly have it in the forecast, I wouldn't be shocked to see one or two spots hitting at any given afternoon within the next several days. It's only happened 56 times going back to 1930 in the capital city, the highest being 105 on August 30th, 2000. The last time we got to 100 was back on August 10th of 2015. So it has been a while. We actually hit 100 twice that year, the year that had the most 100 degree days. 7, 2000 and 2011, which was the hottest summer on record here in the capital city. Looking over the capital city at this time, we do have a 90 degree reading at Metro Airport, a little bit of cloud cover drifting overhead, just enough to knock back thermometers from the high moving into the 3 o'clock hour. That was around 96 degrees. We could still have a few clicks higher here before we head into the evening hours. Checking those area feels like temperatures. Looks like most aren't up to that advisory level, although we are under that advisory until 7 o'clock at 103 in Hammond at the moment, 104 in Bogalusa. Heat index is 101 in New Roads and Gonzales feeling like 100. This spreads all around the southeastern United States. We can see those triple digit heat indices from southeastern Texas up into central Arkansas, even over into the Carolinas with Charlotte showing a 100 on the feel like. It's all thanks to this large upper level ridge of high pressure. It is centered where we see this darkest shade of orange. This would be the warmest temperatures in the atmosphere. Typically beneath that ridge, air is sinking, naturally sinking air is warming air, and that translates right down to the surface with our temperatures. Watch how that ridge just kind of moves around the central Gulf Coast region into the middle and even end of next week. And that's why this heat is not going anywhere and showers and storms will be tough to find. So heat alerts today and tomorrow all around the southeastern United States. We'll take a look at that local view there and you can see every parish and county we cover is included in that. So some reminders, you're going to be heading outside this weekend. Sunscreen, obviously, hat and shades to keep cool. Stay near a pool or air conditioning if you can. You really do want to limit your time outside, especially if you're doing physical activity. Anything from walking the dogs to yard work or playing around to golf, you definitely want to stay hydrated. Heat exhaustion can kind of creep up on you. The minute you start to feel a little bit dizzy or nauseated, time to take a break and get some water. Satellite radar is showing why this heat is going to be so persistent. Any showers that try to develop like we saw today just west of the Mississippi River quickly falling apart, really only amounting to a small section of uh, Iberville Parish finding any precipitation in our viewing area today. Showers and storms continue to diminish overnight tonight. Tomorrow is dry for most of the day. A very weak boundary may drift in from the northeast late tomorrow to trigger a few showers and storms, but the damage in terms of heat will already be done as the best chance will be closer to nightfall. Then that diminishes and we move into Sunday. And again, it's another one of those days where we could see some popcorn showers cover. 10, 20 percent of our area, but a lot of us will not be lucky enough to receive one of those showers. Tonight, it's humid. It's 76 with a mostly clear sky. Tomorrow, run the high temperature to 98 degrees. Could be a late day shower or storm, but long after we've seen these high temperatures for a couple of hours. There's that seven day forecast. And I just want to keep repeating this because it's worth saying in about uh, seven, eight years here at Channel 2, this is the hottest seven day forecast I've ever put up on the board. Have that many days in a row at 97 or 98 degrees or more. Hasn't really happened since the early 2000s.